Hello, this is Chris Mandel in the Dirt Kitchen. I'm here to show you the 2013 Kona Process Deluxe. It's a new model for us, 150 millimeters of rear wheel travel based on a 160 millimeter fork, 66 degree head angle, plus 13 millimeter bottom bracket height, and 420 millimeter chainstay length. Basically, just trying to make the most shreddable enduro bike possible. Um, to that effect, or to that end, we've set the bike up with Rock Shocks two-step DH motion control Lyric fork. So it's got the step down for pedaling uphill, and then it's got the DH cartridge for shredding the descents. The wheel set is the Stands No Tubes Flow EX, so you get a wide profile rim that's tubeless compatible. High Roller 2 2.4 tires, front and rear. Loads of tire clearance in the chain stays. 12 by 142 back end. The front derailleur is mounted on the chain stay so it moves with the suspension, keeping the chain on the front chain ring. We have a bash ring on the bike to protect the chain and the chain wheel. And then the SRAM XO derailleur features the type two clutch mechanism. So that is an additional benefit in keeping your chain on the, on the chain wheel. RockShox reverb dropper post. This particular model comes spec with the internal stealth style. So the cable goes down your down tube and then into your seat tube so it's out of the way. You don't have cable flopping here and there. Handlebar and stem are the race face Atlas setup. And it's important to note that every size of this bike comes with a 60 millimeter Atlas stem. So we've in increased the reach on the bigger size of the bike so that it always uses a 60 millimeter stem. So if you're an extra large guy like me, almost two meters, you don't have to worry about getting your bike out of the box and having a 90 millimeter stem on a 160 millimeter bike. We've put all 60 millimeter stems on all the bikes and we've set the reach of the bikes up to accommodate that 60 millimeter stem. And then the handlebars are stock race face Atlas bars with 785 width. The brakes are the new XO trail brakes. So you get a lightweight lever and the four piston powerful caliber caliper. Um, Shifting wise, it's XO up front, uh, or rather both shifters are XO. And then we have a WTB saddle on the back there. A couple other points on the frame. It's an anodized finish on this frame, so save a titch of weight but get a, and get a lot more durable frame. We also have on the back side of the seat tube here, the headset standard, the bottom bracket standard, the rear wheel OLD, the size and dimensions of all the bearings that go into the frame. So going forward, you'll always know what bearings to put in the frame and you'll always have a reference point for knowing what the dimensions of the headset if you ever need to get a new headset or want to upgrade the existing headset. Um, so pretty much fully kitted out enduro race bike. Um, should be a good uh, good setup for anyone who's looking to have a bike, one bike to be able to ride in your local trails, but also be able to take over to the Alps and shred the most technical descents. So pretty happy with this uh, with this model for 2013. And make sure you check out the base level process. Comes with all the same features as far as tubeless wheel set, lyric fork, dropper post, wide handlebars, short stem double ring in the front and the clutch style rear derailleur in the back with a bash ring, just at a much nicer price point. I think that's all I got for you today. Check out Kona's 2013 line and thank you very much to Dirt for allowing us to take over your kitchen and uh, make this little movie. Talk to you later, bye.